GitHub is the one-stop shop for everything related to web development. There are so many cool projects you've probably never heard about, simply because there are just so many repositories available. So today, we'll be looking at 10 GitHub repositories that will greatly enhance your web development skills. If you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe and you should check out some of my other videos. First on the list, we have the Web Developer Roadmap for 2021. If you've got an idea to build an application, but you don't know where to start, this repository shows you all the paths that you can take and the technologies you might want to adopt in order to become a front-end, back-end, or DevOps developer. They also have a YouTube channel that they just started that can provide tutorials for some of the topics in the roadmap. I recommend you also go check that channel out and subscribe if you like their content. Once you have the tools you would like to work with, you'll want to master the core concepts and the ideology of a framework you plan on using. Thankfully, we have the real-world repo, which allows you to choose any front-end and any back-end and integrate them to see a real-world example of an application. Looking at a real-world example can greatly help your understanding and help you structure your project for future productivity. Since these implementations are responsible for the entire stack, they obviously can't be mixed and matched, but they still adhere to the same functionality and UI specs. A few popular solutions we have for the front end includes React and Redux, Angular, Vue, React with MobX, AngularJS, Next.js, and much more. For the back end solutions, we have Rust, Spring, Node with Express, Nest with Typeworm, and so much more. This repo also goes beyond the web and provides examples for mobile technologies such as React Native, Swift, Android, Quizzer Framework, and Flutter. Once you've selected the tools and framework you'd like to use, you may also need some outside help from other services to get all the information your users may need. Thanks to the public API, we have a great list of free APIs that you can use for your projects and applications. It covers a various topics such as business, anime, animals, news, finances, games, and much more. There are APIs for getting you pictures of cats and dogs, but there's also more useful ones like Gmail API or the Google Analytics API. If you decide to use Node.js for your backend, you'll want to make sure you're using all the Node best practices. This repository is an amazing place to keep yourself up to date with the Node world and also learn about all the best practices while you're at it. It contains a summary and creation of the top ranked content on Node.js best practices and also integration with other tools like Docker, Kubernetes, Terraform, and much more. It currently has more than 80 best practices, style guides, and architectural tips. Some of these tips include how to structure your projects better, how to handle errors, code style, testing and overall quality, going to production, and much more. Once you've got your application working, you should also add tests using the big list of naughty strings. This is an evolving list that has a high probability of causing issues when used as user input. Although these are not malicious errors, and typically users won't type these types of characters in, an internal server error for unexpected input is never a positive experience for the user, and it may be a symptom of deeper string validation issues. It has an NPM package for easier integration, so I recommend you go check it out. Once you fix all those validation errors, you should also take a look at the front-end checklist repo to make sure everything is ready to launch your website into production. It is a repository that is based on front-end web development and focuses more on performance, security, and SEO. All items in the front-end checklist are required for the majority of projects, but some elements can be omitted or are not essential. Having a front-end application that follows the best practice can greatly increase the discoverability of your application. Now that we have all the best practices in place for both the front end and back end, your application has probably started to grow in complexity. Knowing how to write clean code is a useful skill for almost every developer and mandatory in many projects and corporations. This repository takes the concepts of clean code by Robert Martin and adopts them for JavaScript so you can use them in your future projects. It provides some really nice do's and don'ts with examples. If you're mostly interested in building applications to practice your interview skills, you should probably check out the JavaScript Questions repository. 
This repository is awesome if you want to test your JavaScript knowledge or prepare for a job interview. The repo was created by Linda, who has made many contributions to the web development community. She also has written many articles on visualizing different concepts of web development. Once you've answered some of those JavaScript questions, you should take a look at the JavaScript algorithms repository. It contains a tremendous amount of JavaScript-based examples of popular and less popular algorithms and data structures. The structure is really nice because the examples are labeled either beginner or advanced, so whether you're interested in cryptography, sorting, graphs, or even machine learning, there'll be something for you. And for the last repository, if you want to learn more about any aspect of programming, check out the free programming book repo. Even though the name of this repo is Free Programming Books, it offers much more than that. It is available in many different languages and contains sections for free online courses, interactive programming resources, problem sets, and podcasts. But the majority deals with programming books, and it is a really awesome collection. All the repositories mentioned are not just the only resources available. I'm sure there are tons of other amazing projects that I simply haven't discovered yet. These are the ones that I really found helpful and got myself looking through. If you have any others you'd like to share, leave a comment below and I'll be sure to check them out. And lastly, don't forget to star those repos as a thank you note for all the amazing contributors who've put their effort into creating such amazing resources. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you in the next one.